Younger Redditors, what is one thing you fear about growing older? Older Redditors, what is something that turned out to not be as bad about growing older as you thought? I am worried about debt, being unfulfilled or lonely, my joints crapping out, and not being hip to the future tech that will enable me to discreetly buy my embarrassing old people supplies. I regret to inform you that your worries are realistic and justified. Greetings from a guy on the other side of the fence. I see a lot of people my age have really big dreams but go on to settle into monotonous lifestyles that make them feel they've wasted their time. I really want to avoid doing that. Don't go into horrible debt. You'll be able to make important life decisions based on your dreams as opposed to making choices based on the need to pay back debt. The weird thing about being older is your mind stays almost exactly the same. You don't have old people thoughts. You have much the same thoughts you had when you were 25. You are just in an older container. I'm 24, and scared I'll never truly meet a compatible partner. I have a good job, and good hobbies and good family etc. And I'm not scared of settling down at all. I'm just scared of settling. I blew my 6 year old nephew's mind this weekend. I bought him candy and he asked why I didn't buy any for myself. I said it's because I'm a grown up and can get whatever candy I want whenever I want it. His eyes got really big and I could hear him thinking that that part of growing up will be awesome. I used to be afraid of being fat. Now 20 years later, I'm 30 pounds heavier than I was in high school but I have about 30 times the confidence. Also I made bad decisions in my 20s that led to near homelessness. I have a house and a car and a job and cats and a fiance now but I still get shocked at how lucky I am to have all of that. TL. DR. Getting older has made me more forgiving of myself and thankful to have what I do. 22YO. Have you seen the news lately? I'm scared of everything on there. And being boring and working a 9-5. I'm in college right now. The whole not going to school anymore and having to cook dinner for yourself instead of ordering Chinese food every night thing freaks me out. I'm not ready to adult yet. You can still order takeout whenever you want as an adult. Except the problem as you get older is gaining the weight instead of spending a sizable amount of your money. Growing older in itself is not what I thought it would feel like. As an over 40 year old, I find that you never actually feel old, and each time you hit a milestone age or life event, marriage kids, you don't think gosh, I'm old. When you are young, you think there is this line between young and old, but that's just not the case. I realize that teenagers slash 20 somethings perceive a 40 year old as old. I sure did back then, but you don't think it of yourself. For one. You don't suddenly turn old and like boring things. Decades have passed and culture, music movies etc, has changed. But that doesn't mean you have to be stuck in your high school years. Instead, you get to appreciate a wider range of culture and compare it all. The more I talk to friends of mine that are in their 50s and 60s, I don't expect that I will ever consider myself old. Sure, I have aches and I'm not as limber as I once was, but it doesn't make me feel old. I just feel less fit. I am 15 years old and I am afraid of the stress and responsibilities of being an adult. I need my free time. You have free time as an adult. It isn't as frequent, but it's there even though so many people complain it doesn't exist as an adult. You just do that free time doing things that don't seem like free time activities to a kid young adult. But they're still satisfying, and you still have time to jerk off. Health. When I was a teenager I felt invincible I had perfect eyesight, full hair, I could drink the whole night and just continue to do stuff in the morning. Today, I'm not even 30 yet but it's incredible how much more your body talks to you and how I'm just falling asleep at 2am after 3 beers I have glasses for driving now and my hair, well I still have rather full hair but it is definitely receding. This whole feeling of being indestructible in your youth completely goes away it's a very weird sensation. So I can only imagine that it's going to get worse in my 30s and 40s that's really something I fear. Getting older doesn't mean being unable to do cool crap. I'm a 41 year old snowboarder, and I still carve the mountain, jib around, hit the park, including the big jumps. I do this 3 times a week from late November through end of March every year. Big mountains too, like the Beast, Killington, and Stratton. 
Getting older hasn't really slowed me down but since I have more cash flow than I did in my 20s I find that I can go more often and can afford season passes to multiple mountains as well as a family ski trip every February. So don't sweat it little shredders. While you hesitate and contemplate what you'll be like in your 30s I'll be the 41 year old that just poached your run. In my early 40s. The day-to-day -day adult responsibilities aren't as demanding as I thought they would be. Even with kids and a mortgage I manage to have some free time. I think you slowly learn to manage new responsibilities and solve problems as they come up. I think the hardest thing for me is accepting the fact that there are many things in my life that I won't ever be able to control. At 26. Money. All the money you need for a normal life. Even when I have a good job. A good foundation. Decent savings to last 2 years, how long can that last? What if it all goes to crap by next year? And considering my dream of opening a business in the future, I'm afraid my savings won't be able to take the hit of a failed venture. The amount of retirement savings I need to live seems impossible to save up to, even if I choose the most profitable path in life rather than the life I want. And that's scaring me a lot. I'm terrified of losing my mental abilities. At least two of my grandparents have confirmed Alzheimer's, and I don't want to live in that constant state of confusion. That I would have someone on the internet describe me as older. Damn it just because I used gopher doesn't make me older. Whippersnappers. I'm sorry so mom. I'll get off your lawn now colon 3. My options narrowing. I'm figuring out what I want to do as a mid-twenties guy, as I am currently in a career which is theoretically great, but hasn't been particularly fulfilling to me. My dream career would require going back to shadow professionals or take an adjacent position to make sure that is what I want to do, taking prereqs and a pretty tough examination, and then going to a difficult professional school, and I wouldn't actually be in my career till my early thirties, and not a real professional till my mid to late thirties. All this with not inconsiderable student loans currently. Also, I feel like I'm going to have to choose between having the professional life I want and the personal life I yearn for. I was led to believe that things like quicksand and falling anvils would be much bigger problems than they turned out to be. That's what they want you to think. I fear never being able to retire or be able to afford the life I want. I'm in my 20s and just started working full time and I am currently just barely able to afford rent in a crappy neighborhood if I move out of my parents house. The way things are going, prices continue to rise, and the economy continues to be crappy while everybody over the age of 50 continues to drain the social security system that I pay into, to the point that there will inevitably be nothing left by time I'm reliable to collect. Approaching 40, I'd agree that I don't feel old and don't expect to for a long time. It is sad to witness the, possibly legitimate, fear of the younger folks on this thread. My best advice is to try to focus on three things. Make a living to sustain yourself. Exercise. Travel. A friend once said he'd rather live on rice and beans for a year and travel once than drink in bars and never travel. Those are some of the best ways to be happy and feel young. The first may be the most difficult and increasingly so. If you can find a way to cover the bills and have a little extra, that will greatly reduce stress. It just seems so discouraging to watch the reality of the gap between terrible incomes and huge expenses. One key tip. Set an automatic transfer to savings each month and leave it alone. A long time ago I set $100 a month auto transfer to savings. No matter how tight things were, I could always manage $100 over the span of a month. It adds up quickly. At times I had to draw on that, but it really helped. Losing my looks ends up being the best thing about getting older. You can go through an average day without getting groped on public transit, or harassed on the street or followed at the market. The freedom is intoxicating, when I think to how hard every single day used to be, to just get to be a human on this earth without all the constant harassment. Totally amazing. Stay out of debt and live your life for yourself. Karmic debt is real, and revenge is for stupid people. I have found that the ones you need to have revenge on will do it to themselves far more effectively than you could ever devise. Have a practical nesting system, and own camping gear that is always packed. Invest in experiences instead of objects. You can always resent objects, but experiences last forever, for the good or the bad. Watch out for travel deals, 
and don't be afraid to go alone. It's cheaper, and you can move and graze at your own pace. Take dates camping, just to make sure that they can handle adversity. Marry a friend, not a conquest, and make sure you have similar goals. Keep credit cards for emergencies and pay them off fast. Buy furniture at auctions, and sell it before you move, making money and redecorating in the same stroke. Never move furniture, always sell it or give it away, as there are always auctions where you are going. You travel light and wear clothing that looks like where you are, not where you are from. Buy from Goodwill and eBay for clothing, it's used the second you take the tags off. Buy good shoes that fit, and buy inserts for them. You only have one pair of feet, they are important. Watch the color of your urine. If it is darker than clear, you aren't drinking enough water. Always look at your bowel movements. If they are irregular, you should know why. Don't mess up your back by moving stupid crap around. Backs are very delicate, and should be respected. Talk to someone who has mobility issues and learn from them. Back problems can be avoided, and once you have back problems, they never go away. Talk to lots of old people. We know lots of things that never change, regardless of technology or political climate. Don't ever be surprised when people frick you over. Just know how bad it will be before they do it. Marriage can be temporary. Divorce should be forever. Plan for both. Marry a friend, not a conquest. Best advice in this entire thread. I don't see myself as an adult. I'm incapable of making my mind on what I want to be when I grow up, and I fear ending up as a loser because of this. A lot of adults don't know what they want to do. Things happen. Life changes. I never thought I would be working at a newspaper printer's. I never imagined that at the age of 31 I would self-publish my granddad's World War II memoirs. I'm 16, a junior in high school, and I'm only worried that I won't figure out who I want to be what I want to do when I'm older. In addition, with inevitable automation of more and more things, I'm worried by the time I figure out what I want to do, it'll be in low demand. I'm also really worried about college as I've gotten some bad grades in the past. I am really trying for a 4.0 this year, but my cumulative GPA from 9th 10th grades is 3.0. I'm worried about the debt this will bring on to my parents. I am a believer in the technological singularity and that strong IE will be created in the next few decades. I'm not worried that humans will be exterminated, but that we'll be ignored. That IE won't share the secrets of the universe with use when it unlocks them. And most of all I'm scared of dying at some point before witnessing all these other fears. No matter what happens in the singularity, I want to witness it. It would be horrible to miss all the amazing technological innovations of the next 5100 years. I am 40. When I was in college, I thought it would be really hard to get a job. I constantly worried about having to be responsible for myself and a family and whether or not I would be able to do it. it. Turns out as long as you have a good work ethic and keep in contact with those that you work with that are good, you will be okay. Older here. Settling on a specific skill set was difficult and pretty much was accidental. Being really good at a specialized skill is actually quite satisfying and rewarding. I'm afraid of my frontal lobe developing because then I won't make impulsive decisions and my life will be a whole lot more boring. Don't count on it. I'm 48 and have never stopped making impulsive, and sometimes disastrous, decisions. Just turned 16, and I'm so nervous about getting a good job when I'm older. The way my parents, mainly my mom, react to my grades make me feel like I'm gonna be a failure. Even though part of me knows that they're pretty good, I'm also worried about having kids because I don't think I want to have to raise someone and take care of their every need, but I also don't want to get to my 50s and wish I could see my kid graduate from high school or college. Your job career probably doesn't care about your grades, they care about whether you're ambitious, self-motivated and willing to learn new things because what you learned in school is probably not relevant unless you're an engineer. I'm scared of giving up my ambitions and dreams and settling down with a boring, ordinary, monotonous life. That, and Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is scary. 
Well considering I just had a recent mental breakdown that resulted in 2 hours worth of crying because someday I'm gonna die. I guess that. Also not being able to do what I want prior to death that experience made me realize just how important a bucket list is. To put this all into context I'm 16 and I know I have a lot of time ahead of me. But I'm just too scared about the eternal nothingness after death it's so dang scary and once it hit me, it hit me hard. Being an older gay guy, I'm already finding it super hard to find someone I properly click with, and 10-15 years down the line I feel like it'd just be impossible. Older you get, the less important all the drama from my youth seems, and you generally realize and give zero fricks about people in your life still trying to create drama. 35 here, I was terrified of turning 30, but this decade has been unexpectedly excellent. The level of self acceptance and self confidence you can achieve if you allow yourself openness to those qualities is just astonishing. You find a certain comfort in your own skin that feels awesome, but you have to get out of your own way to get there. Finances get better too. I hit a rough patch about 6 years ago where I had to take a job I hated that paid sub poverty wages. I ended up staying at that job longer than I would have in an ideal world because of some life circumstances. Fast forward to 2014 and I have a job I love that pays 500% what I was making living at the edge. Having a chronic mental illness running interference at all times has spiritually aged me considerably. I've been pushed to the absolute water's edge by this condition so often that some unrelated near-death experiences have made me realize I am at peace with leaving at any time. Chronic mental illness has a way of wearing down life resolve. In the fear category, I'm terrified of the inevitable acquisition of still more chronic health conditions and parts just not working anymore. Advice to young Redditors, travel wherever and whenever you can, especially outside your home country, and spend time with natives or the places you visit. I read once that travel is the only thing you can buy that makes you richer. Travel solo if you've got the guts. You get twice the XP. I know. Isn't it just the worst when you have that one party member who contributes nothing and still gets an equal share of the, oh you were talking metaphorically. I'm an older redditor, empty nest syndrome is freaking awesome. I make coffee naked in the morning. My wife and I frick whenever and wherever we please. We do not cook much anymore except for fun. And we don't make freaking macaroni and cheese because that's what the kids will eat. We have the week to plan around dates together. Things that we're interested in. We go stay at a and b at a moment's notice. We go see movies at a moment's notice. We do whatever we want at a moment's notice. We're back to making a difference in the world that's not reflected through our children. I'm worried that when I grow up, I'll discover that I liked being 16 better. I can barely manage my room. How am I supposed to manage a house sold? With an iron fist and the voice of Doctor Doom. 35 here. Balding. It's just not that big a freaking deal. I've been thinning since I was 15. And now I just have a bit of a receding hairline and it's definitely thinner up top. I just buzz it to a one once a week. And all is good. No one cares if you're bald. And if they do, that individual is a total butthole. I agree. I think as a woman of my age, balding men are the norm around me both at work and in my personal life. I don't even notice it anymore actually. My grandpa has really bad Alzheimer's, and my dad is showing things of it as well. The idea of growing up and becoming like them scares me. I'm terrified of not becoming what I'm supposed to be. I'm 22. I just graduated. I'm not truly sure about who or what I want to be and have these absolutely exorbitant dreams about how I want my life to play out. I'm absolutely petrified of dying. I'm going to be up for hours after typing this because it'll claw at my mind. I've been so so fortunate to not have lost any of my family members that though I want to be a doctor, maybe, I've never really been around death. I've only lost my first dog and that alone can send me reeling. 10 years ago roughly. I'm kept awake sporadically by the thoughts of what will I miss and it takes control of me entirely. I'm utterly baffled by the entire notion of death. I'm scared of being alone though I'm in a great relationship. I'm scared of debt. I'm scared of not loving myself. Sorry for the wall of text. I put on so many masks that I don't even know how I feel sometimes. I'm only 21 but I already feel like I'm wasting my life. 
I have no idea what I want to do. I just know that sitting here 8 hours every day in an office is not making me happy. I'm almost paralyzed into not making choices because I don't want to make the wrong one and freak up my life. I don't know how to be happy and my true fear is that I will be too old to live how I want when I figure it all out. Just basically getting old. Like losing all of my muscle, and aching joints, and coercing my children into giving me organs. And coercing my children into giving me organs. Hum. Tell me more. 19 years old here. I have rheumatoid arthritis in my knees with faint signs of it in my elbows. I'm just afraid I'll be incapable of taking care of myself when I'm older. I don't want to live like that. I was never really going to have children. So when I was younger I thought that as soon as my friends and cousins started having babies it would be really nauseating and boring. But actually it's awesome. I get to hang out with cute adorable munchkins every few months. Then hand them back to the parents. Basically having all the advantages that grandparents get. Also the parents are sort of stuck in place for at least the next few years. Which means I'm a welcome distraction when I visit. And we can often smoke a joint or have some drinks and hang out way more than we did in our 20s when we were all career. And travel minded. I am enjoying this time of life. Mid 50s. The kids are almost raised but not completely out of my life yet. I find I am so much more mellow now, and patient with other people. We are all in the same boat, life, no matter what stage we happen to be in and no one really has all the answers so most of us are just doing the best we can. 34 and overall okay with it. I don't like that my back and neck get sore easily or that anything more than a couple drinks can lead to a two day hangover. It's a strange feeling to be considered old by teens and 20 somethings. Because I don't feel old. I still have fun and enjoy life and I'm still attractive. The other main downfall for me and a lot of my friends is the pressure we face as over 30 and childless women. Some of my friends, like me, are divorced. At least as divorcees we don't tend to get the probing questions about when we're going to get married. I think my never married friends face more pressure on that front. All of us though face the baby pressure, whether we want kids or not. Wanting kids means you're on a timeline. Not wanting kids means you get a lot of judgement from others who aren't comfortable with your bucking of societal norms. Being unsure is even worse, since you feel the pressure from yourself to hurry up and figure it out ASAP. Things I like about my 30s are being able to make my own decisions. Being able to buy things I want without having to ask permission or boom money off my parents and the confidence that comes with knowing who I am and not being so hung up on other people's opinions. I also feel fortunate to have grown up at the time I did. All the newer technology and social media have really changed the way we experience life, the world and our relationships with others. I think I'm really lucky to have experienced both sides of it. Growing up, internet and cell phones were in the beginning stages of popularity when I was in high school. Time spent with family and friends didn't involve texting, taking selfies, playing games on our phones, or constantly checking Facebook to see what we were missing out on. We could just be in the moment. In my 20s is when texting, smartphones, social media, etc became commonplace and it was a cool time to become an adult. At the same time my friends and I were gaining our freedom and our own money. All these cool technological advances came about that made life easier. Double win. Sometimes I miss the way it was though, and I'm really grateful to have the memory of simpler times. I think that's one of the coolest parts of getting older seeing how the world evolves and changes. I know my dad, who's in his late 60s, has said the same thing a few times. I fit into your older category. 34. Though I don't consider myself old. My mum is in her 60s, though, and my grandma is 92. And they confirm, there isn't at an age at which you have it all figured out and know what you're doing. Literally everybody is faking it and or winging it and hoping for the best and occasionally wondering whether they've just made a grand frick up. Life gets a lot less stressful once you've figured that out. Not so bad. Loss of high freck hearing. Dimming eyesight, lowered libido. It sounds like life gets duller, but it doesn't. You just find excitement and passion in different things than when you were younger. My biggest fear is definitely that any ambitious dream that I have today will never come to fruition. That, somehow, it'll fall apart and I'll have to settle for a tedious office job or a job in a field that doesn't interest me at all. 
If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.